Everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. Come and eat. Yeshua, the Messiah. We come to you in the love of Jesus. We care about you. We love you. And that's why we're here. We do this all because of the love of Jesus. We're not trying to get you to join our church. We come from different churches. We only want you to know Jesus. And the God of the Bible. Now, I have a... I have a, a message for you. I prayed and I asked the Lord. And I said, Father, what do you want me to tell these people? These people that were made in your image. That you love. You love all of us. And right after I asked him in prayer what to preach, and as, as God is my witness, he laid a message on my heart for you. And it, it goes like this. Uh, you all know what a ladder is. I don't know if we have any ladders around here. Is there a ladder? Can you go get it? Is it alright? Because if there was a ladder, I'd get up on it and give this message right now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This message has to do with a ladder. And life is like a ladder. We spend our entire life climbing a ladder. And you say, well, what does the gospel message of Jesus have to do with a ladder? There you go. God bless them. They're bringing the ladder here. So, Hallelujah. we're going to put that ladder up, and I'm going to get up on that ladder. You're going to get on that ladder. Hallelujah. And I'm going to show you how life is like a ladder. Good job, boys. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Gracias. All right, thank you. Come on, give me a high five. All right. Watch this, he's going to high five. All right, good job. Don't even knock you over. I don't know, that's a pretty tall ladder. That's a tall one, you can get up real high. Well, I may not get up on it, but I'll just, I'll just use it. I'll use it. I can sit on it. You know about yeah, I spent a lot of my life on ladders. I, I climb trees for a living. No, I really do climb trees for a living. I, 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 I do the kind of work you guys do. I, I, I pick... I work, I work with fruit trees and all kinds of trees. Anyway, so I, I have a lot of ladders. But life is like a ladder. Look, as soon as a baby, a baby, when it's in its, inside of its mother before it's born, What's the first thing it wants to do? It wants to get out. It wants to climb out of the womb. Yeah, I want to get out of there. I want to get out. Okay? 
So the baby climbs out of the womb. It doesn't really climb out, but, it, it, but you understand. And then the baby, when, the, when your little baby, what's the first thing a baby wants to do? He wants to get up. He wants to start to walk. And then it wants to become a, to a toddler. Yeah, and then it, then it wants to become a, 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 a boy or a girl, a young ch a, a kid. And then it wants to keep climbing and it wants to become a teenager. See, it wants to, be, it wants to keep climbing that ladder. And, it, and, and when, is it, when it's a uh, teenager, it wants to be an adult. And you become an adult. You want to climb that ladder of life. And you want you want to be successful. You want to uh, make money and, and buy things and have a family and have a wife and children. And you know that's why you guys are here in this country. Look, if you can make more money in in where Mexico or wherever you came from. You'd be, you'd be there, right? But you came here because you can make more money. And you brought your family here. Because, because you want to bless your family. And, and, and you want to climb that ladder. And I want to thank you for coming here. I want you to thank you for picking the fruit and the vegetables. You're, you're a blessing to us. Look, I grew up on a farm. We had fruit and vegetables. And I picked a lot of fruit and vegetables. It was it's hard work. And what I learned on the farm to prune trees and to take care of trees that, and climb ladders so I can get in the trees. That's what I now do for a living. I take care of trees. So thank you for coming here. And that's why you're here, because you want to improve your life. Maybe someday you, you will have a house, and a car, and, 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 and your own garden, and, and all that. But let me ask you this question. Is that all there is to life? You, you crawl out of the womb. You grow up. You climb the ladder of success. And you, and then you, you have a family. And you work. And you live. And then you die. Is that all there is? Or is there another ladder that we need to climb? Is that all there is? Is this life? God made you in His, in his image. The Bible says that God made man and woman in His image. That He wanted to have a loving relationship and fellowship with them. Did He make us so that we could just live and then die and that's all there is? I think you know the answer to that. Most of you are very religious. And you know there's something more. 
<laughs> and that's what I want to talk about is that something more. Back in the Bible, way at the beginning, there was a patriarch, his name was Jacob. And he had a dream. He dreamed about a ladder that went to, <laughs> went to heaven. <laughs> you, you remember reading about that story? It's in the book of Genesis. Jacob dreamed of a ladder going to heaven. <laughs> the, the base of the ladder was on the, on the earth. The top of the ladder was in heaven. And he saw people walking up and down on that ladder. What does that dream mean? No, Bill's got mine. Yes. You're preaching too, brother. <laughs> I want to talk about that ladder. There's a physical ladder that we all climb in life to get success. But there's a spiritual ladder. And some of you are on that ladder. Some of, you, some of you aren't on that ladder. Some of you have taken the first step on that ladder. Some of you are up a little bit higher. None of us have gotten to the top of the ladder. That's, that's where God is. And I want to talk about that ladder. You see, God is at the top of the ladder. And He is the one that made all of us. The sun and the moon and the stars and the earth and every, everything. He made the cake you're eating. Well, you maybe made the cake. He made the wheat and the sugar and all that goes in the cake. And he made your mouth so you can put the cake in your mouth. And he made your stomach, your taste buds, so you can taste the cake. And it can go inside of your stomach and you can feel good after you eat the cake. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for giving us cake to eat. <laughs> so, but we need to honor Him. Because God is a good God. He's a God that's in charge of everything. And He is the one that controls... Uh, he's the one that... that uh, Help, gives us a ladder to get to heaven. He's the, one, he's the one that shows us how to get there. Because he, he wants, because he wants us to be part of his family. It's a, it's a spiritual family. But without him, we can't get there. And some of you aren't on that ladder. And the day is coming when God, who is a judge, will judge everybody after we die, whether we did good or bad, whether we are sinners or not. And this is the problem, is sin. Because it is our sin that has kept us away from God. And, and prevents us from getting higher on that ladder. Sin is breaking God's laws. Lying, stealing, murder, coveting, 
Not honoring your parents. Worshipping idols. Taking God's name in vain. He says, remember the Sabbath day. And many other things. And he, he says that if, if you love me, you will obey me. And when, and when we break his laws, we hate our brother and speak evil and, and have wrong thoughts. That's called sin. When we become drunk, that's a sin. When we do drugs, those are sins. And so, he says you need to repent, you need to turn from those sins. Turn from sin. You can't turn from sin on your own. We can't do anything on our own. We're weak. If you could stop sinning, you probably would. Si pudieras dejar de pecar, a lo mejor lo harías, pero es difícil. Because if you're a man, you want to look at that beautiful woman and lust. Porque si es un hombre, quieres ver a esa mujer hermosa. Or you sometimes want to lie in order to pr protect yourself so you don't get in trouble if you're a kid. Or maybe you're angry at somebody and you, want, you hate them and you want to kill them. Or you take something that's not yours. And so we've got to turn from that. And say, Lord, I'm sorry. And that's where Jesus comes in. He died on the cross for our sins. And only through Jesus can we get to God who's at the top of the ladder. Listen, my dear brothers and sisters, you don't need... You don't, you don't need a lot of stuff to get to Jesus. You don't need churches and priests and all, all kinds of religious things. You need to cry out to Jesus. You need to, you need to fall down on your knees and say, I'm a sinner. A tus prodías y decirle a Dios, yo soy pecador. Help me not to sin. Ayúdame no pecar. Forgive me of my sins. Perdóname mis pecados. He died, he died for your sins. Él murió por tus pecados. So that you would not have to die for your sins. Para que tú no tuvieras que morir por tus propios pecados. Because everybody who sins will die. Porque todos que pequemos. And without Jesus, you will stay dead when you die. Y sin Jesús vas a quedar muerto. You will never. To the top of that ladder where God is. So I don't know where all of you are at in your walk with Jesus. Some of you are not on the ladder. Some of you have started up on the ladder. And some are a little bit higher. But wherever you're at in your spiritual walk, it's a journey. I want you to take the next step in your walk. If you don't know Jesus, you need to get to know Him. We'll give you out Bibles and you can read them. And learn about Him. Learn about the way to God. If you know Jesus a little bit, you need to learn, you need to know Him more. Study His Bible, His Word. Pray to Him. Help one another. Those of you who know Jesus a lot, help those who don't know Him very much. Help the children. You help each other. He's there. You've got to reach out to Him. 
You take one step toward him, he will take ten steps toward you. He goes with you wherever you're at. He's right here. You don't have to, you don't have to pray. You don't have to go to a church to pray. You don't have to go to the Virgin Mary to get to God. You don't have to go to the saints to get to God. The Bible says that if you know Jesus, you are a saint. That's what the Bible says. He's in your heart. Receive him. And go forward. Cry out to him. I don't care how bad things are in your life. He is the answer to every problem in your life. Open up the Bible. Open up the Bible and start reading it. And there's some people here who can tell you where to start reading. Or ask God to show you where to start reading. Or have somebody, or have somebody read to you. You understand what I'm saying? That's the ladder to heaven. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He says, he said that I am the ladder in John 1.51. He says, I am the ladder. You must climb me to get to God. He is real. He answers prayers. He's there for you. And he can, he, he can answer every prayer. Right now. Right now. If you, if you want to take the next step in your walk with Jesus, wherever you're at, I want you to just raise your hand and don't look at me and just say, God, I, I know I need to go further. I know I need to go to the next step. And in your heart, in your heart, promise yourself this before God. And I want you to confess Him. That you believe in Him. And that you love Him. Confess it. Raise your, raise your hand if you believe in Him. Raise your hand if you believe in Him. If, if, he, if he's in your heart and you want to serve him and obey him, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Lord, forgive me of my sins. Lord, I don't deserve Jesus. But you love me so much. And I want all that you have for me. I don't want to just live my life and, and get physical success. And then I die and that's it. There's more to life than this. You agree with me. Who has who has a testimony out here of what Jesus did for them? What has Jesus done for you? He died for us. Hallelujah. What else? Has he answered a prayer for anybody here? Has he, has he blessed you in a special way that you'd like to share with somebody? Come on. Somebody, somebody, Jesus has done something for somebody here. I'll tell you what. Is there anybody here who's sick? Doesn't feel good. Has pain in their body. But you want Jesus to touch you tonight. You believe that he can heal you. 
you believe that he can heal you? Que él se puede I know this is embarrassing to some people, but if hombres. you if you want him to heal you, Pero si que él te sanara, I've had him heal my body many times. Él me ha mi, mi veces. Just the other day, so hace unos días, just the other day, I was. Um, I've had so many things. I had in my knee. I was uh, this knee here. Esta rodilla. Um, I was out cutting a tree down. Estaba un árbol. And and I could hardly walk. Casi mi I was walking mi like this because if I bent it, it hurt. And I didn't know if I could work the rest of the day. I had a chainsaw and I cut this big tree down. As I told you, I, I work with trees. And I prayed, I said, Lord, yo le, yo le dije a Dios, the blood of Jesus on my knee. Sangre Jesús sobre mi rodilla. Thank you for healing my knee. I said, you are the strength of my knee. Yo le dije, Señor, tú eres I kept la walking fuerza. around like this and said, thank you, Lord, for healing me. Y yo estaba caminando this, así, this happened diciendo, two, Señor, gracias. Two weeks ago. Eso pasó, pasó hace dos semanas. This was in the morning. En la mañana. And by noon, the pain was gone, and I have not had a problem since then. I never had that pain before. It came on me, and he healed me of it. I give him the glory. Now, who wants to be who wants to be prayed over? We can go off to the side and pray. I'm going to go over by that tree right now. Anybody, maybe you can pass out some Bibles or something. And if anybody wants prayer, just meet me over there at that tree. Okay. All right. Come upon Victoria right now, and I command that pain to leave for the glory of Yeshua. Command that pain to leave now in Yeshua's name, Jesus' name. Thank you for her seed, her faith, like a seed. You believe, she believes that he can heal, don't you? That's why she came up here, because she believes. So I want you to move that knee. I want you to walk around. Thank you, Lord. Walk around. Walk around. Walk around. Just walk around a little bit. Walk around that knee. Okay? Say, thank you, Lord, for healing me. Does it, does it, now, does it still hurt? Or is it, is it better? Different. All right, let's pray again. I think we need to pray one more time. Can we pray for you again? Come on. We want to be different in good ways. Hallelujah. We want to be. Father, we just rebuke the spirit of infirmity on this man. We command to leave all the way out. Anything else in the body. There's the power of the church. Feel your healing power in her life right now. Show her. Thank you for dying on the cross for our pain and suffering. We give you glory. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. I want you to keep thanking him for your healing and praising him and thanking him and walking around praising him and thanking him.
put it across. <laughs> 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 Forgive me for not having more faith in you. Forgive me for, for looking at the ocean and the water around me. Help me to step out of that boat and to walk on the water and keep my eyes on the Lord. I don't want to sink. I want to walk on the water. I want to walk to Jesus. And I want to be victorious. Because I am victorious. Through Jesus. Because I'm more than a conqueror. And I can do all things through Jesus who strengthens me. So Father, take this pressure and the stress off of her head right now. All of it gone. All of it gone. All the darkness, all the pain, all the agony, all the sorrow, all the fear, all the pain, all the all the sun. Go in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah. Go now. Banish the darkness off of her life. And Father, make her a river of life to those around her. Fill her with a fresh anointing. Fill her with your spirit. Fill her every area. And renew not faith. Do you have a prayer for her? Do you pray for her? Just ask the Lord to, to set her free. Yeah, just, just, just pray. You have faith. You pray just like I do. Can you do that? Yes. Okay. You just believe in me. Father, we just thank you. We thank you, Father, for blessing your daughter. We give you praise. And Father, this is a, a terrible knot that only you can untie. You are the answer. I pray that you, that you will give grace to her husband, healing, and hope part the Red Sea and open up a way for him to be in this country legally so the family can be together again. It's a terrible situation that we have in this country. And, and, and you're the answer. And we just pray that you will have mercy upon your people. In the name of our Lord and Savior. Father, just bless, bless my sister. Bless her. Give her a fresh anointing. We give you praise and glory. Just give her your spirit in a fresh way. And give her your joy. Give her your joy. Give her your joy. Give her your joy. Her your joy. Jesus, I take your joy. I give you my sorrow. I give you my sorrow. I give you your joy. Raise your hand if you don't like I receive it. I believe that you receive it. Believe that you receive it. The shoulder too. All, all the pain, Father. All the pain. All of it go. Because she's carrying these burdens on her shoulders. She's carrying these burdens. So we, we just... We just, Father, lift these burdens off of her in the name of Yeshua, in the name of Jesus. And the pain will go. The, 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 the headache, the stress will go. Because His joy and His love and His peace, this stuff can't stay there. It cannot stay on you. When Jesus, Yeshua, is inside of you, and He's carrying your burdens, it has to go. If you believe that. I'm talking pretty fast. Honor to meet you. Father, give us a better, a special blessing. A special blessing, a special blessing for pouring her life out to others. Give her a special blessing. Give you praise. A special blessing. Yeah, you can. This is the highest ministry you can do. 
This is the highest ministry. Being a pastor or preaching, you know, in front of him, that's not the highest ministry. Jesus said, whoever is the greatest among you, he will be your servant. And, and Jesus took and he washed their feet. He washed their feet. And when he comes back, the Bible says he's going to wash, he's going to take a towel, and he's going to serve his bride. The Lord, the King of Kings, is going to serve the bride. Us. So you are doing his work. He said, did you visit me when I was in prison? Did you feed me when I was hungry? Did you clothe me when I was naked? He says, enter into the kingdom. You know, you are the sheep. Come on in. Because you did it unto me. You need to go and encourage more people to do that. There needs to be more of that. There's a blessing for you, sister. Thank you. There's a blessing. Be blessed. A huge blessing. Pure religion undefiled is this. To visit the fatherless and the widows in their affliction. So it says in the book of James. We're going to pray. This is the highest ministry. Hallelujah. Raise your hands and say, Thank you, Lord. You may not be on television, but you. Well, he knows who you are in the throne room. Thank you, Lord. All right, so, who will see Jonathan. Jonathan is her boy here. And, uh, Don Amico, who will see him? Felipa is her name. And he, Jonathan, between about 1 to 3 in the morning, he can't sleep and he just cries until daybreak. Do you, do you know, do you know Jesus? No, say that, Jesus. Is he your Lord and Savior? Are you asking her? Yeah, I'm asking her. Yeah. Is Jesus tu Señor y tu Salvador? You love him with all of your heart? Lo amas con tu corazón? Do you have a Bible? Es una Biblia. Good. Do you, do you read and pray? Hallelujah. Good for you. Good, 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 good. good. Okay. I believe that it's a demonic spirit that's attacking your son. Yo creo, you say, que es un espíritu demonio. Demoníaco que le está atacando. I didn't say he has a demon. I said no, estoy diciendo que él tiene un demon, demonio. Okay. Es un ataque. Tormenting spirit. I'm going to pray for him. Voy a orar por él. And for you. But then in the morning when he starts to do that, you need to pray over him. And in the name of Jesus, tell that tormenting spirit to get out of your house. Get out of here. Because the Bible says that Jesus gave us power over demon spirits. He gave his disciples that knowledge. That's in Luke, That's in Luke chapter 9, Luke, chapter 9, Luke, chapter 9, and, 9 and 10. And so, do you believe that? Don't be afraid. Jesus is in you. You have the power to tell it to go. And you do that. And you keep doing that every morning until it goes. And then you pray over him. And bless him in the name of Jesus. And if you know some, some songs, worship songs, you know any songs, sing them over him. Some worship where you worship Jesus. Some Bible songs. Can you do that? To sing? Okay. So we're going to pray for John. Father, in the name of Jesus, we praise you. Father, we thank you for John. We just command this evil spirit is tormenting him. You, uh, you cannot come on him anymore in the name of Yeshua, in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is over him and over his mother, yes. and you will not torment this little one any longer. We break the power over this innocent child. 
and we put up the shield of faith over him who quenches all the fiery darts, all the arrows of the evil one. And we claim Yonatan for the kingdom of God. Because I believe that God wants him to be something special in his kingdom. That's why the enemy is coming after him. So Father, bless Victoria. And she will watch over and protect Yonatan. As you are raising him up to become a mighty man of God. Thank you, Father. So you do that, and you, you, it'll, it'll, be, it'll go. And you keep doing it until it goes. And if it tries to come back, you go after it. You, you've got to be strong. And find some Bible verses in the Bible. Quote them against. That's what Jesus, that's what Jesus did when he fought the devil. He quoted the Bible. So find some Bible verses. Okay. Does that help you? Let his father, I just pray that your joy and your peace will fill him. Will fill him. There's no room for any darkness in his life. But father, fill him. Fill him. All, everything is dark. Go in the name of Yeshua. No, go in the name of Yeshua. Go, go. Do not come back. <laughs> Seek the Lord while he may be found Call upon his name He is near, he is near, he is near Yeshu Hashem